Metz and Wren faced off in the top flight for the first time since 2008 as the two sides met Saturday evening at the Stade Municipal at St. Symphorian. Metz are unbeaten at home this term, having won their last three on home soil. Wren have tailed off after a strong start, but were hoping to build on their victory over Lens last time out. While Metz were bidding for four straight home wins for the first time since 1998. Defender Guido Milan tried his luck from a set piece. Wren keeper Benoit Castille is equal to the task. His centre-back partner Jonathan Rivieres, though, was lucky to escape punishment shortly after as a last man back when Wren's Polish international Camille Grzycki went tumbling to the ground as he was closing in on goal. Pedro Henrique wasted a good chance just before half-time. The Brazilian was picked out at the back post by Vincent Payo. But his diving header skipped just wide of the mark. Superb cross, but Henrique unable to direct his header on target. And that meant there was nothing to separate the two sides after the opening 45 minutes. Wren perhaps shading the first half, but able to find a way through against the Mets team that came in and beaten at home so far this campaign. <laughs> Anthony and Farr got his angle spot on as the Mets keeper was in the right place to turn behind Brzezicki's effort after the pole opted to go for goal from a tight angle. Fart was very nearly embarrassed by Henrique after the Brazilian drove it in an apparent cross that struck the base of the post before bouncing clear with Jelson Fernandes, the Swiss international, hammering a follow up effort wide of the target. One is even in the end, no one would come any closer than that as it finished goalless in northeast France. Metz's strong home form appears key to their hopes in the top flight after six seasons in the lower divisions. Wren having to settle for just a point.